Chat, I have just one question to ask. Let's say your name is Mark Wahlberg. Fox just gave you a load of money and you want to make a game show. Would you A, make a game show where you set someone up through a rigorous amount of polygraphic tests and then force them to go on the game show and answer the questions truthfully? Or B, congratulations if you pick A, you win. Congratulations, you win nothing. I found a game show where just that happens. Uh, aired on Fox for about three seasons. And there was a lot of controversy revolving around this because Obviously, you're on a game show where you have to tell the truth. And also, it's in front of your family, which I found crazy. Now, obviously, while I was looking through the footage of this, I was like, okay, well, which episode do I want to watch? There are so many episodes. I was leaning towards the first episode, but then something interesting happened. Welcome to a special Monday night edition of the Moment of Truth. This episode was so controversial, it sparked a long debate as to whether or not to air it at all. Quite honestly, if I had my vote, it would not air. It is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television, asking these questions and listening to the answers that were given. But in the end, it was decided that this episode should air. I will tell you, however, that the truth is often not pretty. So here it is. This is the moment of truth. That alone just makes me want to watch the entire show. You kidding me? The people at the booth were like, okay, this is a little crazy, but we'll air it anyways. Like, that's insane. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? I would digging never answer any of these questions in front of my, like, friends or family. There is no way on this planet this woman is digging brave. She has the guts to come on, it's insane. Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? Uh, why- why would you ever? I would just leave! Like, <laughs> I would not want to be on this game show! This question will not be asked by me. It's by a surprise guest, your ex-boyfriend Frank. Oh, my God. What the- what the- <laughs> You can't be taken serious, there's no way this is happening. There's no. <laughs> they look so upset. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the prize pool is five hundred thousand dollars, so I can understand that there's a lot of money and there's a lot of reasons why you should go. But like, I, it's just a bad idea. She was later fired. She is married to a New York City police officer. She Ooh, a police off. Oh, well. You think you're going to be able to tell the truth in front of all of America tonight? I hope so. I hope so, too. Oh, uh, she's going to lose. Question one. As an employee of a hair salon, have you ever told a customer you liked their hairstyle, but in fact, you didn't? Obviously, yes. Yes is the correct answer. You're a liar! You're already lying! Get off! Leave the show! True. No! That- okay, the polygraph test is already wrong, because there is no way. Question two. Have you ever flashed a stranger just for laughs? <laughs> what? What the heck kind of a question is that? You think she's ever flashed a stranger? You know her. I flash strangers, so I'm sure she's <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Honestly, that's a good response just to be like, oh, I've done it. Because it could have just been really dang and weird. They could have just been like, well, no, we're like really Catholic. We don't even get naked. We don't have any, we don't have skin under this. We just have bones. We just wear clothes and that's it. Would you give food to a stray dog before you would give it to a homeless person? These questions are ridiculous. What? Oh my, this is just a nightmare. I would not want to be on the show. They just look at you with a cute puppy faces and then you have somebody who's got a 
really nasty, dirty face. It's like, hmm. What, it, what is happening? Have you ever derived pleasure when one of your siblings has gotten into trouble? The answer is yes. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. The answer is yes. You are lying if you say no. Say yes. Yes, I have. There, thank you. I believe that, because it's right! They want to percent! You do have a little bit of control. You see that button in front of you there. If at any time you hear a question, you don't want to hear the answer, hit the button, take that question out, we'll place it in You can only use it once, though, okay? Yes. You try it only once, once. okay. Ah, oh, well, that was your use. It's gone. Have you ever been fired from a job for stealing money? What is happening? If if you say yes, and then it's true, I'm gonna freak out. Did you just say yes? No. This is not a show that exists, right? There's no way. <laughs> I don't like to talk about it because if I do, the police would find me. So, am I? My my boyfriend is a police officer. I'm married to him. What did say? Hold wait. <laughs> what did you just dig and say? Hold up. Oh, yeah, I love my wife. I put her in prison once. My prison. It's called the basement. She's in shackles most of the time. This is her only time that she has day. Dude, if I was on this show and I got to, like, the $5,000 mark, and they just asked me, are you a furry? I would just break down. If you knew you wouldn't get caught, would you steal money from your place of employment? I am going to have to pay... If she comes up as lying, this will be hilarious. Something will find out right after this break. Oh, dang you! Go, go dang yourself. I'm gonna grab like 10 pencils, put them in a rubber band, stick the lead near your face, and punch the pencils. Punch at the erasers. Dang you, man. I wanna listen to the controversial. Shut up! Since you've been married, have you ever had sexual relations with someone other than your husband? Yeah, I want to listen to that question! True. Oh, thank goodness. Congratulations. You won. Honestly, and Why doesn't that all applause on TV shows sound like someone's like trying to sip water through a straw, but there's like almost no water? L listen. That's literally exactly what it sounds like. The plastic, <laughs> the cops sound like plastic balls falling down a ball pit. That's it. That's exactly it. Since you've been married, have you ever pretended to be asleep in order to? What the heck kind of question is this? Oh my gosh. True. You've got to be taking kidding me. Do you blame your husband for your lack of close friends? What? <laughs> He's nodding, dude. He's like, yeah, I've caused that. He was nodding. He was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Would you ever be a surrogate mother for your sister if she were unable to have children? Um... Okay, you just explained like an aunt or a cousin. That answer is... True. Wow. She didn't lie! Do you think your parents are proud of you? 
No, 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 no. I resubbed and nothing happened. Ah, oh, awesome. Wait. 21 years? Yo, Pog! I mean, months! 21 years, bro! That's crazy! Do you think your parents are proud of you? The answer is no. They're never proud of me. We've had this discussion. Wait! Hold on, I was joking! Hold on, wait a minute! We've had this discussion?! That's not a thing you say! No, I don't think my parents are proud of me. Oh my gosh! Thank goodness, they are proud of her. Oh. Okay. Here's where we are. okay, I was gonna be, I was gonna be really upset if he just said no. I'm severely disappointed with her. I was gonna lose my mind. I was gonna be like, there's no way. Do you know things about your father that you keep secret from your mother? True. The answer is yes. It's true. One hundred percent. Yes. The answer is yes. All right. There have been many times where, like, a mother or a father goes to the other one and they do something accidental and they look at them and they're like, listen, don't tell dad, okay? Like, that's how it works. The answer is yes. And if it's not, you're stupid. Because yes. the answer, that's, yeah. They're it. The answer's yes. Aww. I'm interested to know why you ran out of your seat and hugged her. Is it that she won the money or that she's keeping the secret? Also, he kind of, in a way, he kind of looks like the dad from, uh, what's it called? A talking cat. Oh my gosh. Wait. Guys. Guys. It's the exact same guy, but he's blonde! It's the same guy! It's the same guy from a talking cat! You know the movie where the cat goes, I'm a talking cat. And it's really funny. You guys know what movie I'm talking about, right? No, sadly. Oh boy. Okay, hold up. Look at me. I may be here to help you human. Chat, I know this looks taking terrible, but just wait until the cat starts talking, okay? Wait until the cat starts talking to people. talk oh my gosh why can't you talk <laughs> and it's the same dad too look it's him it's him he's right there it's the same guy <laughs> i have watched that entire movie by the way i've watched the entire movie i have counted up to a total of like 40 to 50 establishing shots in the movie i've literally watched that entire movie start to finish it is the funniest digging thing my favorite part is when one of them literally goes to, like, the oven. They go to the oven, some girl, like, picks the pan up without a glove because they're stupid. And then she says, oh, no, 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 don't touch. They're hot. You'll, you'll get burned. And she's just with her bare hands touching a hot oven. And then the dad, like, picks them up. And he's like, oh, I got burned. While she's holding her bare hands. It's hilarious. I want to watch more of the talking cat. And have a talk in the woods. Why are you talking? <laughs> you can talk? <laughs> under a grove of magical trees, do you here? 
<laughs> Crazy? <laughs> you can talk? <laughs> How can you talk? How are you talking? This is the entire movie, yes. This is the entire movie. I've watched the entire movie. You can talk to a cat. <laughs> you can talk to your dad. Yeah, but we don't have anything in common. You both talked to a cat, didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is this the part where... <laughs> Okay, this cat gets run over by a digging car, right? And then later, like, he appears in the bed and he's in, like, the worst made cast ever seen. I hope it's in this video. Do you mind? Please be in this video. Let me see it. Look at that! Look at that! Look how terrible that is! They just put, like, one wrap of band aid around his head and they were like, that's it. That's perfect. I don't know what it is about that cat. It's like he spoke to all of us. something great about that as well. I own that movie on DVD and it's in mint condition. I've never opened it from the wrapper. I've annoyed my family so jagging much with this movie that I own it. I physically own it. I used to watch it just with Amazon Prime, but now I just own this movie. We're only 21 minutes through. Oh my gosh. I, I jagging love how at the end he's fully healed and all of a sudden he's just like, I'm a talking cat. This is the most uncomfortable I've ever been on television. Quite honestly, if I had had my vote, it would not have aired. Since the decision was made to broadcast it, I want to warn you that you're about to see a very difficult spot. Listen, I have been on Roblox Twitter once and I saw someone's arm open, okay? It can't be worse than that. Well, to be honest, I am really not concerned about the money. I just, I feel a lot better getting this, everything I need to get off my chest. Oh no. She's about to die. Question 12. Do you secretly stay in touch with any boyfriends that your husband does not know about? Oh, this is gonna get crazy, dude! Uh, the answer is no. That answer is. Wait, really? Bravo! Bravo! Good wife! Let's go! Woo! Women! Chad, do you want to know what I would do? If I was in a situation in which I was forced into this show, I would at least get to 100000 and then walk away. $100,000 is a lot of money. And the questions haven't been so bad. Question 13. Have you ever taken off your wedding ring to appear as if you were single? Okay, yeah, it's getting worse, actually. I'm starting to reconsider that idea. Yes, I have. No. That answer is... Oh, boy. <laughs> you go, father, from a talking cat. Honestly, I think there was a way that she could have played that answer off. She could have played that answer off by saying, oh yeah, I do, but I do it to bait people, to bait people who are cheating. Like, what if they're married and they're trying to go for me, right? That sounded way cooler in my head, and now that I've said it out loud, it's not a, never mind. Maybe Trish has her reasons, and I'll find out later. Ooh. We're gonna have to find out later with the whip. 
Do you believe you might have been in love with a former boyfriend on your wedding day? Oh no! Oh no! Oh! What if she says no? Guys, I have a digging plot twist, okay? What if she says no to this, that comes out as true, the next question comes out, and then she's like, the question is, are you, like, a lesbian? <laughs> and then she has to answer honestly, and then she's like, that answer is true. And then he's like, what? Then she commits a hate crime. Exactly! Yeah, I believe I was. Oh, no! Oh! <laughs> oh no no no! I'm a talking cat. Oh, I hate women. Frank, were you aware that you had those feelings on your wedding day? Uh, no. I knew that you did. Yeah, like you were aware of that. No. Everybody does. I didn't know that you might have been in love with him. He's so uncomfortable. One more question gets you a hundred thousand dollars. Unless you tell me to stop. I can't talk you into stopping again. No, I'm ready for number 15. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> the host is like, gosh, I hate my job. All right. I, um, I don't think you really are ready for number 15, but if you want it, I'm gonna give it to you. Okay? You're making this worse than it is. <laughs> I don't think I can make this worse than it is. <laughs> Chat! Question number 15. Burger King foot lettuce. It's by a surprise guest. Oh. Oh my. Oh no. Uh oh. Lauren? Can you tell everybody who this is? $100,000 question is if she's ever stepped in Burger King foot lettuce. True. I, I can't. This is your ex-boyfriend, Frank. Dude, I I would just leave. I couldn't do it anymore. I just would not be able to live. How does this girl, like, live with herself, honestly? She must, like, struggle a lot, like, in life. And I hope that $1,000 if you win it is worth this question. If you don't want the answer, you still have the button. I don't need to remind you. This They're holding hands! They're so scared! When you're ready, question 15. If I wanted to get back together with you, would you leave your husband? Oh, no! Oh, no, no, no! Dude, this is a nightmare. Who would go on here? They're married, bro. Oh my gosh. Man, I hate women. This is why I like big, hot, steamy men. <laughs> this is so bad. I find it kind of funnier that like, in like the sidebar, like recommended from this video is, will his girlfriend leave him for a sugar daddy gold digger test? Just thought that. That's it. Let's continue. I would- I don't care. I don't care. I would just answer this question and leave. There's no way I would even try continuing. If I answered- I would answer this question and leave. There is no way on this planet I would continue after the onslaught. Dude, there's no way. He knows and she knows. That question- a devastating question. Of course. You could avoid this right now by hitting the button, Frank. No. No? no! Oh. Wait, why did he hold his hand back? He was like, don't do it. <laughs> he hit the button, dude! She, sorry, I don't I don't listen to women much. She's fucking dead. <laughs> oh, he's gonna ask another question? That your ex-boyfriend Frank will ask. Oh my gosh! This is so bad! Once again, question 15. <clears throat> Do you believe I'm the man you should be married to? That's the same question! 
That is the literal same question as the last one! That button did nothing! Well, uh, oh my gosh! Literally, she's actually fucking dead. Like, what is wrong with her? Leave, 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 leave. leave. <laughs> You're so fucking dead, girl. <laughs> um, want to be honest and say yes. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! True. You dicky B word, dude. You've won $100,000. Uh, first of all, Frank, is there anything you want to say to the panel? No, there's, there's really nothing else I can really hear. I mean, with an answer like that, I can only uh, assume that you're you're not happy. Are you unhappy? Sometimes. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is why men are cool. <laughs> If this glitch, okay, listen, all right. If this glitch says that she's going to keep going, I'm I'm done. There's no way. I'm running a I'm running a thirty second ad. Divorce time. No, no, don't help him, Frank. Frank, don't help this dang B word, dude. Don't help him. What is wrong with you? I'm sorry. I'm retracting my statement about men. They're not cool. They're stupid. It's so dumb. Tell her to go. What else is there to tell me? What else, what else is there to really tell me? No! Frank! You are part of the problem, Frank! This is why you're probably gonna get a divorce! I, I'm gonna keep on going. No! Oh no! Ah! Oh no! Dignity. Chart with downward strand. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Since you've been married, have you ever Oh! With someone other than your husband? No! No. No, no, no. I wish the button was still there. <laughs> Telling me. Oh no. Oh! That answer is... Okay, now we're getting personal mung paw. True. Oh! I feel so terrible for Frank, dude. Do you think you're a good person? No! The it... No, you are not! Actually, I... I am a good person. No! No, what this is gonna come as a lie. She just lost all of her money. If she says yes, I will never exist. False. You. Oh my gosh. Lauren, I, I am guess so, I exist. so sorry. Why do you think this came up? as a lie for you when I ask you do you think you're a good person? Because even after everything that I have done, stealing the money and everything, I think that- STEALING THE MONEY- Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the only th bad thing you've done. Just stealing the money. No. Nothing else happened. Why don't you go out and hang out with your family and I thank you very much for- Why don't you go out and hang out and have the last moments with your family? Because you will be executed tomorrow by them. I honestly believe that some truths are better left unsaid. Hopefully, Lauren and her family can make peace with what happened here tonight. I wish them all the very best. See you next time in the moment of truth. I need something that'll take my mind off this. We both talked to a <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.